speed drill. Triple A, tack axe, and SSH in under five minutes. Let's say you have an existing AAA environment and you have to add a new router into it. How do you configure SSH, get the tack axe all working, and lock it down? I've created a very quick step-by-step -step process for you. We'll demonstrate it here in under five minutes. Let's jump in. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to prepare this router, which currently has no security in place whatsoever, to be able to work with a AAA server using TACX Plus to authenticate users and restrict access to SSH only inbound on the FA2 slash zero interface. We'll be using this checklist as a guideline as we go through it. Let's go to the CLI and let's get started. So let's bring in the router. Here he is. We'll put him right next to our checklist and let's begin. The very first thing we're going to do is go into configuration mode and we're going to set up an enable secret because it doesn't have one. So we want to use a really good enable secret, upper and lower case, alphanumeric, special characters, and so forth. So once we have a enable secret in place, we're also going to create a local user. Why? We're going to use AAA. Why create a local user? Just in case a AAA server can't be reached, we want a fallback method using the local database, the local config. Next, we need to set a domain name so that we can create the RSA key pair for the SSH access. So we'll do that and then we'll generate the public private key pair. So once we have a public private key pair in place, then SSH is willing to work and operate. Once that's in place, we'll then enable AAA and with AAA enabled, we then are going to specify which AAA server to use. We're going to say, please use the server here using TACX, and here's the key to use with that server. All right, now we have AAA in place. We've identified a AAA server. Next, let's go ahead and specify a default method list. A method list, somebody says, hey, buddy, for authentication users, for login authentication, here's the methods I want you to use. I want to use first a AAA server, and if a AAA server can't be reached for whatever reason, fall back to the local database. That's why we create our local user. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to lock down SSH so that SSH is only allowed, but Telnet won't be, and we're going to lock it down to the fast Ethernet 2 slash 0 interface. So the easiest way to do that is to use the control plane functionality. So we're going to go to control plane host, and we're going to say the management interface is FA2 slash 0 and only allow SSH. That means Telnet, HTTP, and other management protocols will not be allowed as a result. Next, we should probably test this just to verify that it works. Let's do a test of basic AAA access with the test command because we're in configuration mode. I'll go ahead and use the do. So we're going to do a test AAA group, TACX plus. We're going to put a username in that exists on the AAA server and the password and the keyword legacy. We got a successful response that's fantastic. Before we actually go to a live client at the PC, let's turn on some debugging so we can watch the play-by-play -play action. So we'll do a debug of AAA authentication. We'll do a debug of TACX. And I also I just want to verify that on the local running config, I don't have any other users except for that one user that we created, which was the user admin. This looks like it's 100%. Let's go out to the client. So for our road trip, we're going to go out to this PC right here, this admin PC. And let's just verify the IP address as well, just to make sure we're on the right device. So we'll go to command prompt into IP config, and its address is 102011, which is on the 1020 network, and the default gateway is 10201, which is this guy right here. And let's just ver verify we have connectivity as well, which it looks like we do. Fantastic. So let me bring the debug back in that's currently on. And let's go ahead and authenticate. Let's launch PuTTY right here from the Windows PC. And we'll launch the shortcut there. Go to R1. Okay, the first time we connect, we're going to be asked, we want to validate the fingerprint. We know it's him. We're going to say yes. We're going to log in as this user right here that we used was test admin. So we'll log in as test admin with the password of Cisco. And if you look in the background, the debug, so it knew the user was test admin for the authentication. We have our TACX debug showing that. It got the password, which we supplied and the status was passed. So that, my friends, is a soup to dessert process of how we get a brand new router with zero security connected with a AAA server using TACX Plus, lock down all the interfaces except for one for management protocols, get rid of Telnet, and test it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.